Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's me, Nutrix, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own infinite road game in Roblox Studio, which will later be your Roblox game. Um, before we start, I do want to say thank you so much for uh 74 subscribers. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, I do plan on growing my YouTube channel more and uh, becoming a big YouTube channel, so I can teach you guys more uh, education on Roblox Studio, make it easy for you guys. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I do post weekly uploads and like the video. Um, let's get into the video. So once you get into Roblox Studio, you want to press View and make sure Explore and Properties are open, and also your toolbox is also open. And then you want to go to Explore and Workspace, and you see this plus plus sign, Add a Model, and go back to the uh, plus sign and add a part. And for this part, well, don't move it. First, you want to go and move uh spawn location, and then you want to go and Put it over here. And then for the part, uh, make sure it, uh, let's go to explore and um, go to model. And then you want to rename that model to uh, so right click and rename that model to road P I E road piece. And then for the part, rename the part to main. And then you want to uh, go to main and then go to properties. Scroll all the way down until you see anchor over here and make sure it's checked. Then you want to go all the way up, and then you want to go and select uh brick color and make sure it's uh, really black, and then uh, the color is really black, and then for the material you want to make sure asphalt. Um, you can choose concrete if you want, but I like uh, asphalt, so I look like. Give me a second. I think I just glitched out. All right. Uh, it should look like this. Like that asphalt. Uh, so. Really black is the color, and then the asphalt is the material. Then you want to go to scale it, just scale it how big you want it, just like this. I'm just gonna do with that, with that, and go over here, and then uh, make it a little bit bigger. So I'll show you later what we're gonna do later. Then you want just want to place it on your, uh, place it on top of your uh, base plate, so it's touching right, like that, and then you want to go to explore. Select main, the part, go to properties, scroll down to parent, see workspace, right? Select that, and then go to explore, and then just click it in, uh, just uh, left click it into a row piece, and now it'll be into row piece. Um, now, if you go to properties, the parent will be row piece. And now we have this done, we're gonna go to workspace and then add another part, and this part is gonna be the line uh, of the um the road so what you want to do is go to uh, add the part go to brick color and make the color deep deep orange and then you want to uh, make the material asphalt now just make the scale it like this and then just keep it like that that looks good and make sure it touches the lines i want to put it on the other side too Right. And then after it touches the line, you want to go and select that part, and then go to properties, and then you want to scroll all the way down, and you see can collide. It'll be checked, uncheck it. So now when it's unchecked, uh, basically when you walk, uh, so I'll just show you. I'll put it over here. If you walk on that part, it'll just go through. So we'll just go on top of that part. Oh yeah, we forgot to anchor it. One second. Make sure the uh thing the part this part we we part this part we made it anchored but this part we didn't make sure this part is anchored and then go press play go over here and then see how I just go through it so if your car is also driving it'll just go through this too so then uh we'll just add this like that and then duplicate it Control D on your keyboard. Duplicate and then it'll look like that and control D again and put it on this side and Then you want to change the go to for this side of the part uh, go to properties Change the brick color to white so institutional white and then uh, I think that's what it says Yeah, institutional uh, white and then uh, just duplicate it again and add it on the other side of the road. So now you got this road you can make your own road doesn't matter. I'm just going with this road um then you want to go and add in another part so go to home add a part here and make sure it's anchored 
and then go to scale and make sure it's scale like this like this will be the highway borders you know so we're gonna do this and put this on the side make sure it's touching the part like that now it's touching each part and then you want to uh, make it a little bit bigger like that and then after that you want to duplicate this part actually no before you duplicate it select the part again and make sure it's anchored and then you want to go to properties and uh, all the way up and then change color to um, medium stone gray and then for the um, the material change it to concrete it's going to find concrete over here and then after that's done you want to go and duplicate that control d put it on this side all right now you want to both of these so make sure the, these lines are positioned properly then you want to select this line this line this line and this line and then you want to just uh, group it so control g and then control d to duplicate this now it should look like this all right and then you want to select this uh, border highway border and put it over here then uh we can pick this like this one the highway borders and then control g to group it go to properties and rename it to highway borders you don't need to rename that i'm just being organized uh like i said you can do your own highway um then or your own roads and then but you should like it should have it this should be the road part so this um this should be the main and then the road is supposed to be on top like and all the the um assets and stuff like the lines and the borders and stuff then just collect just, um select this line the this one and this one and rename the both ones to lines and then after that uh let me put my mic a little bit lower so you can hear me properly uh i think this is better yeah so then uh go to explore and then we have all of this but we had row piece still uh same place and this is just difference so we just group those two lines and rename to lines again so we are more organized so these are lines this is uh, uh now um this will be uh, the borders and then now we want the the buildings and the grass so go to home add a part and then anchor that part and then scale it so make sure it's on the line like this All right But we don't want it to all the way over here because we also want to add the buildings. So we'll keep it like over here, the grass, like that. And then go to properties for the, uh, this part. Make sure it's anchored. And change the uh, color to uh, forest green. And then you want to change the material to grass. After that's done, go to press move and duplicate it. So control D and duplicate. And then put it over on this side. And then once it's done, Go to toolbox and then search up a building, any building you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with this building. And put it over here, but make sure it's on that part. It's not like that. And uh, you can put more buildings. It's your choice. You just need to make the thing bigger the main bigger like you know scale it bigger and stuff and then you'll have to expand these more so if you're expanding this more on this side you gotta expand more of these you know so i'm gonna use this building and just duplicate that move it on the other side also you can use different buildings on both sides i'll just do this um see how like this is going way off i'm gonna make this main come over here so go to explore and then you want to go to row piece main and then select scale i see this right go ahead and just move it over here so it looks like that all right then uh after that that's your um 
infinite road but we're not done yet we'll add the trees so just search up i'll just do three in football search up. and then so do you see these ones I'll use this, this tree over here and then you want to go make sure okay then you want to duplicate the tree and then use uh, select, select both of these trees now select this one and select this one and just duplicate it so we can put it on the other side uh the, the both sides don't need to look the same i'm just doing this because uh well it's just a tutorial and you know i'm just teaching you guys but you can do your differently you can put a different building here different building here different trees here different trees here but the grass you know th this is like the environment right so then yeah so we got this here the roads trees grass we're almost done all we need to do is now is select this tree and this tree select this tree and this tree sorry no select this tree and then you want to group those trees and then rename it to uh f2 on your keyboard or uh if you want just right click and then a rename and then you want to rename this to trees and then for the buildings select both of those buildings and group those two buildings and rename it to uh build things yeah buildings and then uh so if this is grouped this group this group this group and this group all we need to do is group this and this now grass Let's go and select both of those grass models and rename the uh, parts and rename the uh, so group it and then rename it to grass It'll become a model and you just rename to grass and now all we need to do now is select trees grass buildings highway borders lines and put it into road piece um then you want to go ahead and add this road piece to replicate the storage and now you want to go to start a player and start a player script and add a local script and then in that local script uh go to the properties and rename that local script to infinite infinite let me move my mouse cursor so uh rename it to infinite uh, road client like that then you want to go to the code or a local script and delete whatever is inside it and go down to the description below and get the code and put it over here so it should look like this i'll keep it on the screen for a while so you can pause and uh yeah copy down and then after that, uh, then after that, close the local script and go to explore. If you want to add music to your game, you just go to workspace and add sound. And uh, you can get the sound ID from a creator store or something. Or you can do is go to toolbox, models, choose uh, select models and add audio. Give me a second. And then uh, you can add any audio you want. Uh, I'm just going to search a funk because that's like the best music for cars and stuff. Um, I'm not going to play anything because I don't want to get copyrighted and stuff. So I'll just choose a random music. Uh, let me just do here. So I just selected one of those sounds. And it'll be uh, put into my workspace. If it, if you have a model selected and stuff, it might be put in here. Just move it Just move it and put it in workspace. And then you want to go to, uh, don't rename the model, the sound. Uh, it just don't uh, rename it. Don't rename it. Keep it as it is. And then go to the properties for that sound. And then you can go here and press loop to make sure loop to check and playing is checked. And then when you join, all right, then after you have it in, um, you have row piece in replicated storage and your starter player, starter player scripts, local script, this infinite row client is in local, uh, starter player scripts. Go ahead and press play. And then you'll see over here, your, uh, infinite road will be here, except, uh, I just, went ahead and used my own road um, road piece so mine looks like this so like i said the realistic uh, building the realistic tree i have the realistic trees over here and then you can just um go drive infinitely but for the car uh i'll just add it one second i accidentally deleted it let me just add it back so just go i said just go back over here on the side and then just press play um 
And then when you just turn around, the, the car will be there. And then you can drive here. And let's see how the road infinite infinitely goes. This car drifts too much. One second. Let me choose another car. Um, let's go with the. Uh, delete this. And then, we'll go with the cyber truck over here. Move it over on this side. So, like I said, you can make your own road piece. I just use mine, my own right now, so you can see right here. This is my own. Totally different what we use for this video. Uh, I just give you an idea what to build. But this is my own uh, piece. See how I'm driving. And it's an internet road. It just keeps going. What happens is it like duplicates the road. So uh, this car is so bad. You need the cars in the game. So anyways. Sorry. Something's wrong with this car. This car is broken. Um, but anyways, as you can see, the road goes infinite. Uh, it doesn't stop. It just goes more. And it just goes infinite. There's no max in the number. It just goes uh, infinite. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. This video. So uh, like I said, you make your own road piece, and I use my own road piece. Like I use this one right here. Not much. I can show you right here. Workspace. This is my own road piece. I just wanted to use my own. I show it in this tutorial. Uh, building it was hard, but um, took a while for me to build this. Take a while for you maybe to build this too. Mine's look like this. I'll just give you my blueprint, right? And I got these nice little trees, little thing. There's lights over here, and this one's are, uh, the infinite road. You can just search. you can get it, and then you can just put it in your um thing road piece. But the, yeah, this is mine, so. All you need to do is position it because it might not be so if you put spawn over there it won't spawn right there you need to position spawn wherever this uh is so after you have row piece just put it in replicate storage make sure the look the script is there right i have this uh, in the description or in the comment section uh just check it out and then for that's it so you don't need to do anything else but for the car spawner I do have it on my YouTube channel, just check it out. And for the uh, weather control for rain, I only have it for rain. Uh, if you want rain in your game, there's I have a video on that too. Uh, just check it out on my YouTube channel. And for the, uh, there's another one, lighting. For realisticness, uh, for realistic sky and everything, uh, a lot of you wanna have that realistic sky, right? Just check it out on my YouTube channel, I have that one too. And yeah, so hopefully this video um, uh, helped and uh, for you to build your own infinite road game and uh, yeah, so make sure to subscribe like the video and I'll see you next time. Peace